While the COVID-19 pandemic has indeed limited what there is to do, a lot of folks are taking time to work on some home improvement projects. KCAU 9 reporter Lydia Vasquez joins us from the newsroom tonight to explain how that homework is affecting the lumber supply and what builders are having to pay for their lumber. That's our top story tonight at 6. Tim, a buyer for Marcus Lumber tells me because lumber has been so difficult for them to get their hands on, prices have spiked and the shortage is leaving suppliers in short demand as well. We've seen a big increase in uh, do-it-yourself projects. Anything to do with outdoor projects have been very popular. Grant Levitt buys the lumber for Marcus Lumber. He says products like treated deck boards and 4x4s have been in short supply. We've had to wait several weeks for it to get and it's been a fine line to balance uh, the supply versus the demand. And we've seen the prices increase from that too, just because things are hard to get. So uh, the prices have gone up because there's high demand. Levitt says the cost has gone up anywhere from 20 to 30 percent. And now the company is finding ways to meet the demands of its customers, like contractor Andy Bush. We were very nervous about what was going to happen this summer because we didn't know if everybody was going to, you know, be out of jobs and not have money to do projects, but it seems like everything has been good around here anyway. The phone keeps ringing and it's, it's hard to keep up sometimes, but it's been, it's been good. Levitt says lumber mills underestimated the demand, forecasting a downturn once COVID hit, but that hasn't been the case. It's not like uh, a lot of these items are just sitting available to be bought. They have to be produced and then uh, manufactured. Levitt says in order to keep up with the growing demand for lumber, Marcus Lumber has had to call on new distributors in order to get the product. Live in the newsroom, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.